Hello everyone from Daytona International Speedway. I'm Jonathan Merriman here with Chris Rice from Collard Racing. It's a starting grid, Chris. A hot, steamy day today. How's that going to affect the racing later on tonight? Well, it's going to be crazy. I feel this package, which is a little different than it was in the spring, is going to bring some different guys up front. It's not going to be the same final four that we see each every weekend because it doesn't look like the cars can turn very well. They're pushing, they're having to lift on the gas, so it's going to be exciting to watch tonight. A little bit different package this weekend as well that we saw at, uh, in the 500 and at Talladega earlier this year, so what can, what can we expect from that? Well, they added an inch and a half to the spoiler on each side, so what that done is put a lot of rear downforce on it. They were trying to slow the cars down, but also what that did is that they're not turning as well. The cars doesn't turn as well. So they have to lift out of, out of the gas, and when they lift out of the gas, that brings it packed together. Man, it's going to be exciting down to the finish. All right, so what makes this place so crazy, so special? The big one can happen at any minute. What's that like up on the uh, on the pit box for a Well, I think it's a couple of areas, especially off of turn four. We see that havoc corner sometimes. It flattens out, and the race cars tend to get loose there, and they spin out, hit the inside wall. But also, after you come out of the travel, it looks like it gets narrow, even though it doesn't. It looks like it gets narrow and it messes the drivers up. And they can run two to three wide, but it gets hairy. It's not like Talladega where it's super wide. It is, it, you have to handle here other than what you did at Talladega. All right, Chris, now it's time to put your money where your mouth is. Who are you picking to win the Coke Zero Sugar 400? Well, I'm staying just like I did in the preview show. I am still going with Denny Hamlin. I feel that this is a race that they're going to go out and win and get themselves locked into the playoffs because I'm telling you, this place is kind of took some wins from Denny Hamlin, but also he's been great at it. So I like Denny Hamlin for tonight's race. All right, I think the grandstands, $400 million over there gets torn down because Chase Elliott gets his first win here this weekend. I think Chase Elliott takes on the trophy, but you'll have to wait and see. It's tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time on NBC. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for watching. It's Daytona, baby. It's Daytona.